finale weekend. It's the first race of the final two rounds here at Donington Park. We're right on board with Pete Belsey for the start of the race. And away we go on the front row. It's Paul Smith and Pete meets Martin Farmer today. He's the champion before going into tomorrow's race. It's Wayne God in Dots, the outside of the front row. Row two, it's Martin Farmer there with the first win. So they turn their way into Red Gunny side by side for the league. Wayne God really trying to... Put Paul Smith under the pressure and a couple of cars running very wide there from the exit of Red Gate onto the grass they were going but the top three already breaking away it's Paul Smith that leads and it is uh, going down in second place and third place for Farmer Gone was looking to the inside there runs out wide allowed Paul Smith to pull away but now Martin Farmer as well draws up alongside and he goes second to first second and third that is how they sit in the championship as they go up towards Schwartz Kurz and then under McLean so Martin Farmer seeing that gap already starting to appear between him and championship leader Paul Smith as they now turn their way through McLean this should be interesting now to see if Martin Farmer claw his way back on to the leader so we've got a great battle here the team with Rover Taylor goes over side, Taylor dying up the inside. Cormick gets it down and brings it. Roman gets over and it's been right across the mouth of Pete Belsey. Belsey somehow manages to avoid him there, but you know, Roman can then drop right to the back of the pack. So I was saying that Martin Farmer is qualifying with something like 1.4 seconds slower than Paul Smith. That was a bit damp this morning, a bit tricky. See in the completely dry conditions what they can do. Well, but Umber hasn't lost much time since we last saw them. So doing okay there. Good battle here. This is number 10. Ian Jordan hits the Class B champion. Steve O'Claws up alongside. And O's going to get this done through Hollywood, is he? No, Ian Jordan, in fact, sticking with him through to the crane of curves. And are they side by side through here? That's very brave. Yes, they are. But O on the inside of the old hairpin. He gets that done then. Moves ahead of Ian Jordan. They turn their way through the old turpin on lap two. So they crossed the line. There was just four tenths of a second between your two leaders. And now Paul Smith really coming under pressure with Martin Farmer there. Just saw that in the background as they headed up towards Coppice. And here they come then into Redgate. It's Paul Smith and Martin Farmer, the two championship contenders, nose to tail then. So they exit Redgate onto Hollywood and onto the Crater Coast then for the third time. And this 13 minute plus one lap race, Gwen Gunn, not too far behind the two. Championship contenders of Eva and Farmer now really on the tail of Paul Smith. Using all the road there through the old turpin. Underneath the bridge. Now he dies up on the inside as they head up towards Curve. Can Martin Farmer do this? The two guys, yes, he's through. Farmer leads. Martin Farmer gets ahead of Paul Smith. Then a great move there through towards Curve as they come out the other side of McClay down. Almost side by side once again. But it's still just about Martin Farmer ahead of Paul Smith then as they head into Coppice Corner. And it's yes, Farmer, number four that leads ahead of Paul Smith. Through Redgate, the top two absolutely together. Farmer and Smith, they're all close. Touching there as they exit Redgate. Good run out the corner from Smith. He's all over the back of Farmer to turn through Crane of If he does beat Martin Farmer in the race today, he becomes champion. If not, it'll go tomorrow's race. And all really Paul Smith has to do then is get a half decent finish. Well, he's more than capable of doing, but he wants to win it today. He wants to win the race as well. They're doing them side by side. Farmer just about stays in front though. Back on board with our camera car. This is Paul, uh, Pete Belsey. Right behind Paul Taylor. He's closing back in after losing time. It's the way the positive robot had it spent. They're side by side of the Swords curve. Paul Taylor can stay in defensive blow. As they head through Coppice Point now, he gets the car sideways. But he holds it all together. As they head up towards Coppice. And that's an awful kind of just to pull out a couple of car lengths. But the slip seems absolutely vital. And now Paul Pete Belsey is in the distance. Where he can use the slip speed to his advantage. And he's going to do it right now. As they head down the back straight, down towards the cane they come. And Pete Belsey is sick in that slip speed. Now Paul Taylor just goes to the middle of the road. And Pete Belsey's got no more moves in there to go up on the inside line. And as he gets it done, then Belsey gains the position. As they now come up across the line, but it's a change with second. Graham Gunn's got ahead of Pete, uh, Paul Smith, and he's right with Farmer as well, so it's free for the lead once again. As they come up across, uh, up onto the crater curves, and P Paul Smith slows. Paul Smith, has he got a problem? The championship leader slows out of Redgate there. Hello in the top two to get away. Drama here in the 13th round. Unlucky for some, maybe Paul Smith is going to be the unlucky person here today because the car slowed down out of Redgate. Surely he's got a problem because what he seemed to not lose so much time through the craters and now up the hill. We'll have to see what happens in the next lap or so. 
that this could be real drama for Paul Smith. Plenty of battle throughout the pack though we see here. Pretty typical in Formula V racing. Side by side for the lead. Graham Garn there. Trying to come around the outside of Martin Farmer. They're already into traffic. You can see how much quicker they are than the slower cars there as they just go straight past them. Um, before heading to the crane of cars. Now there is Paul Smith. He's certainly got a problem but if he brings the car home it is going to be vital because if he doesn't Martin Farmer will be right on him for the championship. On that lap, he lost three seconds to the leaders. So definitely a problem for Paul Smith. But with them top three being so much faster than the rest of the field, uh, Paul Smith's best lap, a good couple of seconds quicker than Ian Buxton is in four. If he can keep that speed up, he shouldn't lose too many places. A vital point will be scored for Paul Smith. Meanwhile, he found his first out in lap three now. So, making him move up on the inside of Stuart Roddick. It just say 25 cars died this race. Alan Forster didn't complete the first lap. But now still running. And the top two, well in, tra well in traffic, going through the corner curves. Martin Farmer and Graham Garn. Not much separating the two of them still. Great racing between the two of them. And now we look back. Is Paul Smith still going? That's all he needs to do. Yes, there he is. Turning his way through the old heaven. Ian Buxton now starting to close him in. There's Pete Bell as he hit him fifth. Just had a Paul Taylor. There's a puff of smoke coming out the back of his car. And what we're going to look at here. Another good battle. And this is the one he, uh, Steve O in Jordan. Now is that Matthew Perks possibly the third of those guys? Yes, I think it is. So they make their way through. Some more people turn side by side. Is that Tim Probert there recovering after his spin? Meanwhile, here come the leaders. No, sorry, not the leaders. That's uh, Paul Smith. Now is he behind Ian Buxton? Now is that Ian Buxton in front of him? Yes, it was. So Ian Buxton up onto the podium. Down four. Gets that done nicely. Paul Taylor around the outside of Pete Belsey as they turn their way through Redgate Corner. The two of them side by side now. Belsey in the inside of um, for Hollywood, but then if Paul Taylor could stay with him, he goes to the inside of the Crane of Curves. He's done that, the two of them side by side, but Belsey carries the momentum around the outside line there, and he just about stays in front of Paul Taylor. Great best for fifth. This could become fourth if they can close in on Championship leader Paul Smith, who's got his problems. As they turn up now, up towards McLean's. Through Redgate again, then number five. Peter Belsey is in that position. 41 behind him. Paul Taylor in sixth place. You see Paul, uh, Paul Smith just up the road now. Only about a lap to go though at the end of this. There's Smith in fourth. There's fifth Belsey, sixth with a public smoke coming up the car. That's Paul Taylor. So they, here is Martin Farmer then, he's going to keep his championship hopes alive, he's going to take it to the final race tomorrow of the season, so Martin Farmer is going to take the win, he's got a healthy margin now to Graham God, third place, that would be Ian Buxton, about another 10 seconds off the top two is Buxton, fourth place, it's getting quite close now, Paul Smith is not far ahead of Pete Belsey. There, there's Smith in fourth. There's Belsey, who's under massive pressure from Paul Taylor then. As they head down the crater curves, they're almost side by side there. Behind the pair, oh, that's Craig Pollard. Then you've got Daniel Pitchford in uh, eighth place. Then you've got Steve O and Ian Jordan. That's Jordan just slotting himself ahead of O. That's a great battle. That's going to go to the flag. Then you've got Tim Probert and Matthew Perks batting. And, and Pete Belsey! That's Pete Belsey who's pulled off. What's happened here then? Yes, the arm out of the cockpit there. A mechanical problem on this final lap of the race, it seems, Pete Belsey. You can see Paul Taylor just pulled away again. The arm out of the cockpit pulled Pete Belsey. And he pulls to the side of the circuit and is out of the race. 